It's Erica from Manhattan Physical Therapy, and we're gonna talk a little bit about body mechanics. So what body mechanics is, is your ability to um, kind of lift, move, and carry things without injuring yourself. So, you know, whether it's you're lifting a kid, or an unruly puppy, or um, you're shoveling snow or burying a body, it doesn't really matter, as long as you do it with good body mechanics, all right? So when you're lifting something light, you can kind of get away with bad body mechanics, all right? So if I'm just, say, little, my little one pound weight here, nice and electric pink. So let's say I'm picking this up off the floor. Is it a problem if I pick it up with kind of bad body mechanics and I reach down and I do this? No, as long as I'm a reasonably healthy person, this isn't a problem. If you're somebody who has a history of low back problems, so you already know that you're not gonna pick something up off the floor like that. But let's say it's not a one pound weight. Let's say that you have to pick up a 50 pound bag of potting soil, all right? So I'm not saying everybody should lift a 50 pound bag, but I'm just saying, gonna show you that it is possible to do this kind of lifting without hurting yourself, all right? So step number one is you always wanna keep your core engaged. So I got a nice 50 pound dumbbell on the floor here, and I'm gonna put it up on this step. So you always wanna make sure that your core is super engaged. So what that means is instead of having your lower back arched like that, you wanna tuck it under, you wanna kinda of bring your ribs down towards your hip bones, all right? A lot of times what can help you do that is if not you throw your shoulders forward, but if you pull them down, you're gonna feel all of those muscles engage, all right? So your core is nice and tight, and then when you pick something up, you want to make sure that that center of gravity, so think of it as a line that goes from behind, from your ear all the way down, that it stays slightly behind your ankle. So I'm, I'm picking up something heavy. I want to keep that core engaged. I'm going to bend both of my knees. I'm going to pick something up like this, keeping that back nice and flat. Your weight is through your heels. I'm lifting it up. Step forward, put it down, all right? You want to try to keep this 50 pound weight as close to your body as possible, okay? If I hold this, no strain on my back. Core is nice and tight, no problem. If even I hold it an inch out, holy cow, that is terrible, all right? So don't do that. So once again, you wanna to try to keep your core tight, lift up your weight as close to your body as you can, step forward, put it down. Now you might have tight spaces and you go, yeah, okay. We put this on here, but I actually need it to go over here and there's something in the way how do I twist all right first of all don't if you don't have to all right lifting and twisting is never a good idea but if you can lift it bring it forward and then say put a knee on something turn and then put this way put it this way that would be better off than you say just lifting something from the floor and hooking it to the side especially when it comes to something like shoveling snow the more that you can get low, lift with your legs, the better off you are. But even better, if you can just kind of scrape it to the side and shove it that way, way better off than if you were to try to do one of these, which as much as we see it on TV and movies, it's terrible for your back and body, all right? When it comes to lifting something from really low, you kind of want to make sure that you go down into a half kneel, you pick up that item, and then you keep it close to your body, you go from there. So the key is keep it close to your body. The closer that it is to your body, the less strain that it's gonna put through all your, your joints, all right? So that is basic low to mid level uh, body mechanics lifting. If you wanna know how to lift stuff overhead, check out that video, okay guys? All right, have a great day.